This will be for lunch. Mr. Bill Poker Peeps, welcome to the vlog, the long-awaited vlog. <laughs> this is the most difficult vlog I've ever done. It's absolutely been months in the making. <laughs> so I hope you guys appreciate it. I'm gonna try to do uh, vlogs every couple of weeks from now on. So what have I been doing since I lasted a vlog over a year ago? Here's a little clip to show you. This is before lunch. <laughs> the mask up and go in. So again, as far as my vlog is concerned, it, during COVID is very, very discouraging. I wasn't getting to play very much. I was, uh, I got furloughed from my job. Uh, my wife got laid off. <laughs> So we were having some struggles and it was just difficult to do mentally and I wasn't getting to play any poker so there really wasn't much for me to talk about. In fact, it's been so long since I've done a vlog, I'm no longer monetized. <laughs> That's good for you guys, you don't have to look through any commercials. Not so good for me, but maybe we'll pick it up here soon. So one thing that Vicki and I did because she was laid off and I was furloughed for a few months, uh, I have sold stuff on eBay, junk on eBay since 2002 and I've uh, kind of got that in my blood. So Vicki and I started a new vlog called Two Texas Traders where we buy and sell stuff cheaply. Uh, we actually buy it cheaply and then sell it for a lot more on eBay, Facebook, Marketplace, and everything. So, well, what I would appreciate from you guys, if you guys could give us some support, go take a look and hopefully subscribe to that. We would really appreciate it. It'll teach you how to make some extra money if you need to do that. That's what was helping us while we were furloughed and laid off. Now, since about October of 2020, I have actually been playing lots of cards. Uh, I'm playing at least two or three times a week now. I'm playing at my favorite clubs, both of them being legal, Texas Card House and The Hideaway. I actually play at The Hideaway a lot more. Great club, if you're in the Dallas area, check out The Hideaway, just the best. So with that, let's catch up on some of the poker I played for the last, geez, a year or so. <laughs> I haven't played in a live game since March. Today was what, June 8th or something? And I'm going to the hideaway. Hopefully I won't have forgotten how to play. All right, the first hand of any significance that I played when I came back was at the hideaway. It was against a vlog watcher named Jay. Now I know as a content creator, people like to play against me and they like to beat me and they like to show bluffs and they like to do things like that. So I'm always very wary of that, which I take into account on this hand. So I'm in the small blind with pocket fours. I have about $700, it's a one three game. Uh, there is three limpers to me. I go ahead and over limp. I'm gonna try to hit my set. Jay then makes it 18, uh, the under the gun and myself call. The flop with $60 in the pot comes to 610. I check. Jay makes it 30, the other guy folds, and I'm not done yet. I've got a decent hand, I make the call. So the turn with 120 in the pot is an eight. I check again, he makes it 55, and now I simply don't believe his story. <laughs> so I make the call. Uh, the river, 230 in the pot is a two. I go ahead and check it. He bets $75, that's not big enough. I don't believe the story. I make the call and he shows four five. <laughs> so Jay, never, never bluff the unbluffable. <laughs> that could be a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> In May of 2020, our WNPL league started back live again. Unfortunately, it only lasted for five weeks, but in those five weeks, I had a first place, a second place, a third place, and then two out of the monies. So it was back to online for WNPL where I absolutely crushed it. 
Uh, we averaged about 25 to 30 players per tournament. I uh, played in 49 tournaments. I won 9 out of 49. Also came in second three times and third five times. We only paid three each tournament, so I cashed in 17 out of 49. First place, 9 out of 49. That is pretty darn good. So today is August the 10th. That's a Monday. Yesterday, August the 9th, I played in two tournaments. One of them is my $100 South Lake game, but that doesn't get, go very often. Every once in a while, I won it uh, for $1,120. Got lucky on one hand. The rest of the time, I played really, really solid and good, and I was happy. Uh, so I won that one. Then I played in the nightly tournament, our just our dinky little $25 tournament, and I won that one too. So two tournaments in one day, uh, net profit of, gosh, $1,200. So pretty happy with all of that. So in October of 2020, Texas Card House opened, The Hideaway opened, lots of places in Texas opened, thank God for Texas, and we could play a lot of cards. So here was my first shot at Texas Card House. So my first ever day at the Texas Card House and I changed table to where my buddy Brant is, and this is the first hand that I see. And they're on the uh, flop. I get in there and the, the guy that, uh, the one guy on the right bets, the other guy three bets, and the guy on the right four bets. So the guy on the left is tanking and tanking and tanking, and he has shown me his cards. He has the nuts. Uh, he has 6-9 for the big straight, and I don't know what he's waiting on, but he's hemming and on and waiting, and they decide to run it twice. Uh, he makes the call, and they get it all in. And <laughs> This is what happens. First board, straight flush for the guy on the right. Second board, straight flush for the guy on the right. Uh, welcome to Texas Card House. All right, just leaving my last session of the year at Texas Card House, December 31st, 2020. It's about seven o'clock at night. Can you see that? In for 400. Out for 740. So it could be a lot worse than that. <laughs> All right, you guys, happy new year. All right, final statistics for the year 2020. You know, I normally do an entire vlog. <laughs> on how I did and show you graphs and all that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna do that this time. This is gonna be short and sweet. For the year 2020, I made $4,712 in tournament play. I made $6,129 in cash for a grand total of $10,841. A pretty much an average year for me under very unusual circumstances. So I am extremely thankful that live poker came back again. Thank God for Texas. We are opening up. We are rocking and rolling, baby. But, uh, you know, I played online, but I just don't care for it as much. And the reason why is because it doesn't have the fun, the interaction, and all the social stuff. Personally, from the poker point of view, I think it's so much easier to read people when you're playing live. So I love those kinds of things. But the best thing about playing live is I get to play with my friends. My very best friends in Texas are all poker players. <laughs> and we just have a great time together. We have shared stuff with our families together. Uh, we, are, we study together. We are very, very competitive against each other. Most of us play in leagues or cash games or whatever against each other. So one of my buddies, Jason Cole, was a vlog watcher. I can't remember where we met. Maybe at Windstar? I can't remember, uh, but we became friends. We have gone out as families and stuff like that. Um, but Jason and I love to battle it out. Uh, we both have the same favorite junk hand. We call it the best hand in poker, 3-5 suited in the cash game. You'll hear about that here in a little bit. But these next number of hands are all against Jason. Again, we like to battle and we like to beat each other. So here you go. All right, in this first hand against Jason, I am on the big blind. I have pocket aces, I have $650. Uh, Jason's under the gun. He uh, raises it to 17, he has $462. The cutoff and the button call, so there's 51 in the pot. I raise it up to 100. I don't wanna bet too small here and have everybody come in. Jason then raises it up to 300, he only has 162 back, so he is absolutely committed. The other two fold, I of course jam it all in there. He doesn't have a choice and he makes the call. He has pocket jacks 
and the run out comes king seven five three two and i stack off jason in hand number one so just three hands later i get pocket jacks in the cutoff i have twelve hundred dollars now jason is on the button uh there are three limpers to me i make it fifteen dollars jason on the button calls everybody else folds so the flop $39 in the pot comes queen of diamonds, seven of clubs, seven of diamonds. I make it $20. Jason calls. The turn now is 79. Ace of diamonds, putting three diamonds on the board. But I think the ace looks really good for me. So I bet 35. Jason comes over the top for 110. And I tank and I tank and I tank. And I'm thinking, you know, my jack of diamonds here might be good, but it might not be too. So I tank, I tank, and I fold, and Jason shows the naked bluff of eight of clubs, nine of hearts. He absolutely had nothing. No draw, no nothing. So round two goes to Jason. All right, what is, what is tonight? DJ night. No, no, no. What, what is the date? <laughs> oh, uh, January the 20th. No, no, no. What is the day? What is oh, the it's day? Monday. Monday. So he had it right the first time. Here we are on a Monday night. Because these two DJs, they call me up and say, hey, we're going to play poker. And of course, then I had to play too. <laughs> no excuse. No excuse at all. Jason Brandt, DJs. That's true. I'm not losing money tonight. <laughs> all right, round three. I'm in the plus one. I have ace of clubs, six of clubs, and I have $520. Jason is under the gun. He makes it 20. I make the call, and the button and the small blind both call. So the flop with $82 in the pot comes Ace of Diamonds, King of Clubs, Jack of Diamonds. Uh, there's a check. Jason continuation bets for 35. I'm not so sure that means a whole lot. So I race it up to 100 with my Ace. Uh, there's two folds and Jason tanks and calls. The turn now with 282 in the pot is the Nine of Clubs. He checks to me. I bet it up to $215. What is that, about three quarters pot? Uh, he tanks, and he tanks, and he tanks, and he folds, and he shows ace queen. I then tell the white lie at the table that I had ace jack, and I had two pair, and everything was good. They did do a rabbit hunt. Somebody wanted to see the last card, and it was three of clubs, so I hit my clubs. Now, later, I pulled Jason to the side and said, Jason, I want to tell you the truth. I did not have two pair. I turned a club draw. I still had the ace. So I made the bluff and it would have worked out anyway. So it was a good thing you fold, even though it may not have been the right fold. <laughs> so round three, Mr. Bill. All right, round four of this heavyweight matchup. And I actually have footage of this. Now I didn't start filming until after the flop, but Here's what happened pre-flop and such. I am in the cutoff. I have $1,000. I have five of clubs, seven of clubs. Jason is in the hijack. He has $665. Uh, he makes it $15. I make the call. Uh, everybody else had folded. And now we'll pick it up from the actual video. Two seconds. Can I look at your card? No, you may not. 35. <laughs> I'm gonna make it very small. Forty-five. Bingo bongo, baby. Sixty. One sixty. If you bluff me right here, I'm going to come to you. <laughs> Just letting you know. Right 
<laughs> okay, we need anger issues. You have to say that again. Me too. He threatened me. He threatened. Tell him again That's what right. you just said. That's right. If you, if you bluff me right here, I'm punching you in the throat. <laughs> That's great. That's great. If you're bluffing me, I'm going to punch you in the throat. <laughs>
six, four. Oh, uh, tournament poker, tournament poker. I am out of the tournament. Gosh, if I win that hand, I go up to 280,000, well above average. Ah, uh, sickening. I do want to say congratulations to my buddy Rob. He's a study partner of mine, a friend. You guys have seen him on my previous vlogs. Rob did make day two. We swapped 10% of each other as we always do because one of these days, one of us is going to bink a big one. Anyhow, congratulations. Rob made day two. It didn't work out on day two the way that he would like to have done it, but it was a good run and uh, played good poker. So I think I'm going to end this vlog here. First of all, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys have been just wonderful. I get messages, I see people live, and they tell me that they miss my vlogs, and they want me to do another one. So you guys were pretty much an onus for me doing this stuff here. I expect to maybe I can put out a vlog every couple of weeks here. So let's. Let, uh, I've got a little bit of my juice and energy back about poker, so I hope that will happen. I've already got the vlog planned for the next one, and it's gonna be about big hands that I have played uh, at basically the hideaway. There could be a couple other ones. Uh, for example, I play some big hands against Next Gen Poker. If you guys could do me a big favor, if you could again look at two Texas traders and give us a look there, maybe subscribe, maybe if your significant other likes doing <laughs> that kind of stuff, they would enjoy it also. Okay, last thing, you guys, comment, subscribe, press the thumbs up button, do all the things that you're supposed to do, get the notification bell, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. I would really, really appreciate that. You guys have a fantastic, wonderful, and blessed week or two, and I will see you next time. Bye.